Welcome to First Time Watching. Today I'm going to explain romance drama movie released in 2023 titled Wait With Me. Before we begin, we kindly ask that you like and comment on the video since this will allow us to expand our niche. Thank you. A well-known novelist by the name of Kate Smith writes under the pseudonym Mercedes Lee Love Letter because she doesn't want the public to know who she really is. Her ex-boyfriend, who she lives with and who has essentially been missing all summer, resides nearby. Nonetheless, Kate is unwilling to part with her home. Her most recent books, despite the fact that she is a best-selling author, haven't been that good. Kate's writing, however, becomes better each time she goes to the tire depot. Kate decides to enter through the back door and wait for Miles to catch her after offering many justifications. A mechanic employed by the depot is named Miles Hudson. Kate calls his attention to the woman's peculiar personality as she is departing. The fact that she had entered through the employee area strikes Miles as being incredibly odd. Kate lies to him when he questions her about the unexpected visit. Her love of books piques Miles' interest, and he soon learns that she is a passionate romance reader. Due to her need to publish blockbusters, Kate doesn't want him to be aware of her strategy. Kate's ideal, however, is immediately dashed when a shocking letter shows up at her door. The Tire Depot mails a note to Kate. The letter includes a bill for every beverage she's had in the past few days. But, she notices something. The letterhead is too well written for a depot employee to have created it, Kate realizes. Dean, a neighbor and best friend, answers the door when she knocks. In actuality, he prefers that Kate attend his office rather than the depot. To convince her otherwise, he created a fake letter. Yet her mood isn't appropriate for Dean's office. Kate is fascinated by the ambience and sees infinite potential in the tire depot. Also, it aids Kate in giving life to her stories. She returns to the depot the following day. She meets Miles, and they exchange a few words. Miles is interested in her, but Kate won't give him any information. To sway him, she offers him some of the leftover pizza. Everything is going according to plan until Kate goes unconscious. When she needs aid, Miles steps in and notices that she hasn't eaten. Kate admits that she feels guilty about devouring all the cookies by herself. Although being unwell, Kate is concerned about the cookies and the baker. Kate wonders at that instant if Mrs. Betty is appreciated for baking the cookies and danishes. Miles acknowledges their stark differences at this point, but he still admires her unconventional and fascinating behavior. Kate and Miles walk to the restaurant for lunch. Miles is also curious about her books, but Kate won't share that information with him. Over time, Kate finds herself drawn to him. Miles inspires Kate to write a novel, so she keeps a journal of all she learns about him. Miles and Kate re-catch up in the bar the following evening. Inadvertently giving him access to her writing techniques, Kate doesn't feel awful about it. When Miles learns that she writes sexy novels, he is startled and wants to know more. Kate worries that he would criticize her based on the books she publishes. Kate doesn't want to look foolish in front of other people because she has already received a lot of criticism from her loved ones. Nevertheless, Miles has a fresh idea. He decides to notify his sister Meg about Kate's books over the phone. Kate becomes emotional, and the two become closer over time. She is heartbroken by Miles' unwillingness to commit. After making the decision to depart, Kate does not turn around. It appears that Miles didn't end his previous relationship. When his ex-girlfriend Jocelyn cheated on him with a wealthy man, Miles has lost all faith in people. The following morning, Kate and Miles act as though nothing ever occurred and put the unpleasantness behind them. They eventually bond and become close friends. She receives new information from Miles as he assists her with the new book. Unfortunately, Kate is forced to confront the fact that Miles doesn't feel the same way about her. After a few days, Kate finishes writing her brand new book, The Mechanic. 
With each new chapter, their friendship gets better because to this book. He receives a party invitation from Kate. When Miles arrives, he finds Dean to be around her to be disturbing and grows envious. The situation worsens when he brings her inside. Men's shoes catch Miles' attention, and he inquires about the unidentified man. Miles becomes irate when Kate fails to let him know about her ex-boyfriend. He'd always wanted to be friends with Kate, so she doesn't understand his actions. In time, the two develop a close relationship. They awaken in the exact same bed, yet nothing has changed. While Kate is entirely fine with Miles making a commitment, he still feels hesitant. This time, she chooses to have a casual connection with him rather than pressuring him. Kate doesn't want to impose her viewpoint on Miles despite the fact that she loves him. But deep inside, Kate wishes that he will acknowledge her emotions. She chooses to speak with her friend Hannah, and the two of them devise several strategies to entice him. The following day, Kate and Dean connect. He warns her to keep away from Miles because he previously turned down her emotions for him. But, Kate becomes irate and disputes Dean. After some argument, Dean admits his emotions for her. He receives Kate's apology because she never loved him. Although Dean feels upset, she doesn't want to stop their friendship. She follows Dean's request to leave the establishment. Now Kate sets everything aside and arranges a camping trip for her and Miles. Yet for Kate, this journey is going to mean everything. She is aware that her emotions are growing stronger, but Miles does not share her perspective. Kate also keeps her real name a secret, as well as the fact that she lives in the same house as her ex-boyfriend. Kate doesn't respond to his texts after a few days have passed. The following day, she makes the decision to tell Miles everything, but things don't work out. Tristan, Kate's ex-boyfriend, arrives home after his journey. He makes attempts to mend his relationship with her, but they are unsuccessful. The following evening, Driston and Miles cross paths in the pub. Driston pursues Kate and her companion. Miles shows there at the same moment and sees Driston attempting to coerce her. Driston tells Miles everything when he tries to talk to him. Nonetheless, Miles leaves the bar despite realizing that he is in love with her. Outside, Kate pursues him and offers him her condolences. Miles rejects her apology and walks away in spite of all her efforts. Kate is heartbroken as he decides to break their relationship off. Miles has not called her after two weeks. Kate is reminded by the fact that Miles required a pricey carburetor to restart his grandfather's automobile that she must return him. She chooses to purchase it from Mac, a Scottish player. Sam receives it from Kate, who requests that he keep the depot visit a secret. Sam nonetheless divulges still another fact. She is informed that Miles has given his uncle money in exchange for her daily visit. He wanted her writing to be strong. Miles never informed her about it for that reason. She expresses regret for her error and provides a comprehensive biography. Kate and Miles eventually get back together. As the movie comes to a close, Kate publishes her book. She amasses a sizable fan base with the success of The Mechanic.